Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change or check your default programs in Windows. And your default programs are what Windows uses to open specific types of files, just like a DOC or DOCX file should default to Microsoft Word because it's a Word document, or .txt should open with Notepad since it's a text document. Sometimes they get mixed up, or sometimes you install a secondary program that takes over the uh, file association and changes your default program. You know, I've seen, for some reason, PDF files opening with Internet Explorer instead of uh, Acrobat Reader. So there's a couple different ways here. If you have Windows 10, like we're running here, there's kind of like a general setting, and then there's the old-fashioned setting. So let's do the Windows 10 method first. So what you want to do is click on Start. I have the old-school Windows 7 Start menu here and search for settings for the Windows settings and here we go and what you want to do is find the section that says apps and go to default apps and now you'll see kinda like the main generic apps here it's not gonna have everything um, so let's say for your web browser because if you have Windows 10 then Edge is your default browser, but if you want to change it, you just click on it, and you could pick which one. See how it says recommended for Windows 10, and then you could change it from Edge to Firefox or Chrome, or go back to IE, whatever you like. And same for your video player. There's some options there, and for photos, for music, and email. You know, if you have Outlook or Thunderbird, you could change that to your default app. Actually, we're going to change ours to Outlook because that's what we're using here. And it says, hey, you want to check out the Windows Mail? No, I don't. Let's switch anyways. So now Outlook is our default mail app. So that's it for the Windows 10. So if you want to get a little more detailed, you could go into Control Panel and find Default Programs. And then click on Set Your Default Programs and it'll bring up the list of what you have installed on your computer. So let's go back to the web browser again for an example. So Firefox, you could click here, set this program as default, and you could also choose defaults for the program, so specific types of files, what you want to use with Firefox. So if we click that, then we'll notice that any HTML, HTML or HTML or XHT or XHTML, blah, 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 HTTPS files, they're going to open with Firefox when you try and open one of those. So let's cancel and go back. It's going to load each time. Let's look for another one here. Okay, like we're talking about Adobe Acrobat. Click on that. And we'll notice that Acrobat is set to open all these types of files by default, which is good. And let's say it wasn't our default program. We could click on it and then click Set Program as Default and then that'll change it to the default so next time you try and open any of those file types um, it'll use Acrobat Reader and you can see you have you know everything that you have installed on your computer and there's for Windows 10 there's a lot of stuff from the App Store and like for Outlook here's what we just changed and so it'll open all of these types of files and let's say oh I don't want it to open uh, .bcs files I want to use something else you can uncheck it save it and then go back to, let's say, I don't know, we could look. I don't know if Thunderbird will have a VCS file or not. No, it doesn't, but I mean, you could have it if it did. Or EML files, that's a good example. So let's say you wanted to use Thunderbird to open an EML file. You could check that box there, save it, and then go back to Outlook. And uncheck it there and save it, and that way... Outlook will open everything else except for these EML files and that will open with Thunderbird. So there's a lot of stuff here so you just have to kind of fine tune it. But if everything's working fine on your computer, don't worry about changing stuff around. Just kind of, you know, only if you have a problem with say Excel is not opening your CSV files. You could go there or your you know XLS files from older versions of um, Excel. You could go check that and save it. So this is pretty much only something you need to use if you're having problems with your programs not opening files correctly. So like I said, that's in Control Panel for under Set Default Program. So you could probably just get away with using that instead of using the Windows 10 little 
part we showed you at the beginning but that's just a quick way to get to some of the more popular programs and then you can just change your settings from there now it's not too uh, difficult once you uh, get the hang of it and that's it thanks for watching